Hey everybody, Guy from Ajax here. Welcome to the Daily 5 and 9, where I try to win five Splinterlands matches before I lose five. And I record the matches in real time so you can hear my stream of consciousness thinking while I set my strategy. Web3 strategy games like Splinterlands are the best, and gamers need more of them to choose from. That's why I'm developing a Web3 basketball strategy game called Geeked Out Basketball. Links are in the description below. Now, let's get rolling on today's matches. Okay, 5-0 um, and no day yesterday. 1-1 one one March, let's see if we can keep it going. Just on a bit of an overall Splinterlands hot streak right now. Got a legendary rewards card this morning. I got the, I got the, um, the life magic monster with weapons training. So I'll be able to pair that with Pelicor Conjure and kind of play around with that. I've really been enjoying um, Kulu Mastermind and weapons training with Bakjira. So let's uh, see if I have the same, the same uh, positive experience with life. Okay, uh, Fog of War, Aimless, uh, healed out, 55 mana water and life okay they have a maxed out possibilis maxed out you is that a maxed out you or does you go up to level eight you know i don't even know with the <clears throat> excuse me with the uh rift watcher summoners because i'm so not close to getting those maxed out yet unfortunately um ba -ba -ba, let's see okay so it's aimless healed out fog war hmm I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to lean into. Let's just start with a water lineup and see what that looks like. So it's aimless. Uh, so maybe Rune Mancer Kai can just be shooting magic and leeching life all over the place. Let's get Kulu Mastermind and Narissa in play. Uh, so I have 22 mana. And I have three more slots to fill. Should we put Wave Brood in play? I'm thinking yes. Uh, da, da, da. So it's healed out. And it is aimless. So lean into magic and archery as much as possible. I feel like Jen O'Shaughness makes a lot of sense here. And then, I mean, I didn't mean to do this, but... As I mentioned it before, let's just go. Bach Jira paired with the Kulu Mastermind. Oh wait, you know what? Kulu Mastermind doesn't have sneak attack, so I don't think that makes the most sense. I think we go Demon Shark, or not sneak, but opportunity. Okay, and then I got a seven here, which Reach is still in play, so I feel like it's Flying Squid, right? <clears throat> or I could go Swamp Spitter and be repairing the Demon Shark's armor, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go Flying Squid, we're just going to let these monsters deal offense. Jen O'Shaughness isn't an offense first monster, but the rest of these are. Okay. And I like the fact that I'm going aimless with uh, two, with three pretty... Actually, I guess three magic is great for Jen O'Shaughness. So I got three magic monsters who are going to be pelting, ideally, the back line. Well, <laughs> you got to hit Archimus the bear. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, I gotta retaliate. Yeah, I guess Wave Brood though is not soaking up all the um, all the attacks because of aimless. Yep. Lesson learned there. I could have put a better offensive monster in play than Wave Brood. I had him in there for taunt. So that, that was an oversight. Yeah, you live and you learn, though. Okay, eliminated Archimus the Bear. If I can start, if I can get Corsair out of there and start getting these archery monsters into the tank position, that would be amazing. Okay. Ah, dang, dang. Really needed that. Okay. Oh! I mean, I guess, are we going to get double pelted? Yeah, we're not going to do it. Dang it. Yeah, a couple missed shots and a poor strategic decision by me putting Wave Brood into play. Otherwise, that was a winnable match. It was a bummer. Um, it's interesting. I was playing a match. I saw a maxed out Supply Runner at level 10 has um, the, the team heal. So I maxed out my supply runner yesterday. Uh, earthquake, uh, reverse speed, lost magic, 47 mana, and we have earth and 
li uh, life. It feels like for me it's going to have to be a life play because there's no magic. I can't really lean into obsidian. Um, and I just don't have any of these other summoners leveled up enough to justify it. Uh, I think, yeah, I think like Fernhart and Yelfane, they can level up to eight, right? So let's, I mean, let's just go with the Sloan lineup. Let's put our flying monsters in play. Let's go Uriel. Let's go the Arbalest. Let's go the Harpy. Let's go the War Pegasus. The Gargoyle Devil, and then I've still got a 10 to work with, right? So who is a good 10 mana monster? Corsair. I mean, this lineup just rode itself. It's kind of a lazy lineup going all flying, but I think it's the right move. Yep. I mean, with reverse speed, I could have leaned into Earth, but I just, you know, I miss, uh, with, with, when you can't play the magic monsters in Earth, that's a, that's a tough one to play with a Chaos Legion heavy deck. Okay, uh, ooh, they are nerfing my archery. Pretty smart play. I'm, who is that? I'm not as familiar, okay, Warrior of Peace. I'm not as familiar with the more old school cards. I know, you know, a bit about Untame. Obviously, Chaos Legion is when I started getting into this. Okay, we need to get that 11 Defender out of there. Okay, they played this one well. My Uriel got ripped through pretty quickly. And everything else got ripped through quickly. All right, O2. Am I gonna go from a sweep to a swept? Okay, aim true, explosive weaponry, weak magic, 46 mana, death, I'm sorry, uh, dragon and earth. Death is like a combination of dragon and earth phonetically, which is why I almost spit out that. Okay, um, so I mean, if we're gonna go explosive weaponry, Aim true, weak magic. Just feel like I feel like Quicks is the obvious play. Clearly leaning into Earth, have no other choice. Which large mana monsters do I want to go with? Um, I definitely want Runic Skyclaw with explosive weaponry. I rec recently leveled up this card to where it has uh, Reflection Shield. And let's just see what happens, even though we have a lot of mana. What if we put Kinjo in at the reach position and then just go with as large mana monsters as we can? Chaos Dragon, uh, the weak magic doesn't concern me just because Chaos Dragon is such a strong card. Agor Longtail, well, right there. Yeah, I mean, I can't, don't have enough mana to do all of that. So I think I'm going to have to go with a different type of tank. Probably Jin Chihuahua. Uh Potentially the Mycelic Infantry, actually, with weak magic, this becomes a pretty strong card with its um, with its shield ability. And now I have nine mana to work with. So, I mean, I think I want to go with one of these five mana magic monsters. Do I want to go more offense or defense between Regal or Void? I'm going to go more defensively, especially with Blast in play. So the Void Dragon can maybe not get too beat up by the blast ability. And then, uh, do I go, I mean, is there, yeah, I mean, do I go, I'm kind of thinking maybe just go Iza. And yeah, sit her back in the anchor position. Hopefully she, she can accumulate some health before she gets knocked out and, and become kind of a stubborn um, card for my opponent to try to eliminate. So, great, yeah, not a lot of sneak monsters. Interesting, I've never seen Failed Summoner played here next to um, next to the Slip Spawn, that's interesting. It's a clever strategy. Maybe a little too clever though, we'll see. Okay, um, my Mycelic Infantry is doing its job with shield that's unfortunately poisoned though. So it's not going to last much longer. Yeah, there it goes, bummer. That poison was a bit backbreaking. Okay, eliminated their failed summoner. Great, great, great. Oh, I wanted the double elimination there, but oh well. Beggars can't be choosers. Void dragon, no, nope, I was gonna say, need my void dragon to survive this one, but that is not happening, okay. 
All right, now I need the Chaos Dragon to... Uh, it's not looking promising. Nope, no, it's definitely not looking promising. Yeah. And now, yep, I don't think Iza can do this all on her own. No, not happening. Okay, 03. I just simply got outplayed on that one. Okay, Fog of War, Earthquake, 57 mana, Dragon, and Life. Can very well get a Lux. Lux would make a lot of sense with Earthquake. I am going Quicks. And then there, actually with these two Splinters, there are a lot of good Flying Monsters in play. Can potentially, I, can, I could pretty easily, I think, do a Flying Monster exclusive. Pelicor Arbalest. I have 18 mana, so I can average 6 mana per monster. Which means let's put the Brightwing in play. If she can repair Longtail, outstanding. Um, do I? I mean, I like both Void Dragon and Skyclaw. Skyclaw leaves me with two. Void Dragon leaves me with six. Unless I do this. Oh shoot! Don't want that. Um. Great, great, great. And then I have a three. Are there any three mana monsters? You know, I might just leave a, a thing of mana on the table and go with the Harpy. Or, you know, I mean, I I'm going to go well, Purder. If we can maybe remove the flying from any of my opponent's monsters, then amazing. Okay, my opponent seems to be being pretty thoughtful about their lineup. Now, I was saying, though, the uh, level 10 Supply Runner has me pretty excited. Maybe I'll have to force it into my next lineup. It's such a versatile card uh, that I might as well just to show off its new ability. It has the this one right here. It has the, um, the Strength and Ability, same as Jin Renova. Okay, interesting. So my opponent... Um, not going as heavy on the flying monsters as I am. Look at my opponent here has the level of the maxed out supply runner. Again, such a strong card as it is. And then when you give it the strength and ability, makes it a bit more frustrating. Really need... Uh... Okay, we've got a resurrection. Really need the well herder to remove flying from one of these monsters. Oh, psh, what was I thinking? There's no freaking sneak attack. Second stupid mistake I've made today. Playing Wave Brood in an aimless set and now this. I guess it's part of the value of this content, right? You can see me make stupid mistakes, so maybe you won't make them yourself. I mean, I was just putting Welperder in there. It was essentially just a lost card. I should have just had, uh, should have had the Harpy in there. Well, you know, the Harpy couldn't do anything either. Yeah. I clearly didn't think through all of the rule sets, and I'm going to pay the price. Yeah, this is nasty. Okay, don't need to watch this one anymore. 04. It's been a pretty streaky week so far. I got down 04 on the first day. I did a 5 and 9 in March. Came back and made it respectable at 2-5. Then I went 5 and 0 yesterday, and now it's 04 again. I've never been swept in one of these recordings. Let's not make today the first. Armored up, lost magic, heavy hitters, 27 mana, fire, earth, and death. Probably going to get a Lux. Probably going to get a Lux with either fire or death, I'm guessing. Okay, um, armored up. Okay, it's there's no magic, armored up, and heavy hitters. I know it's gonna kind of waste the nerf from Thaddeus, Thaddeus a little bit, but I want to, anytime I can give Curse Windaku some armor, I like to do it. Um, self heal with some armor, thorns, nerf the speed, amazing. Let's play with my new toy, the Supply Runner, and I have 11 mana to work with. So let's get some poison in play with these two cards, the Strangler and Uraeus. And you know what I'm gonna do? I think I have the fiends in play this time. 
I'm going to really focus on the sneak attacks between Uraeus and Xavi. And then I'm going to, I mean, how do I want to use the Corpse Fiend? You know, I am going to keep the Corpse Fiend in the here to protect my Supply Runner because, I mean, if my Corpse Fiend has to play any role as a tank <laughs> to protect my Sneak Monsters from that position, that means my Curse Windicu got ripped through pretty quickly anyway, which is really the heart of my, my strategy on this one. All right, my opponent with a somewhat similar lineup, and they are putting the Corpse Fiend in the Reach position. Really want to win this one. Really don't want to get slept, swept. Okay, there goes my Fiend, did his job. He would have gotten targeted there regardless by Lero, no matter where I put him. Oh, needed to land that one. I think that could have eliminated their Windicu. Okay, yeah, they, the Astral Entity, they do get a, um, a Resurrection. Ah! Okay, but I'm going to get, yeah. This is not looking promising. Dang it. Yes. I got swept today, people. First time ever. Whew. Ugly, ugly day. Uh, tomorrow needs to be a bounce back day. 05 today. Hope everyone has a great day. Uh, if you've watched the, the video to this this far, and if you haven't subscribed uh, to my channel yet, would really appreciate it. Working on um, working on building up the su subscriber base a little bit. So it would do the channel a lot of good, kind of you know keep me uh, incentivized to continue to make more content. Uh, quick little tease as well, too. I've got a... Um, a March Madness style video series for Splinterlands cards that I'm coming out with uh, during March Madness week next week. So stay tuned for that. Plus more five and nines coming your way. Bounce back tomorrow. Later.